we're going to do a demo on the Lemon Martini Netting Plus product. This product was developed to solve a solution that clients were needing where they have customers that are also vendors. Instead of receiving money for the invoices on the customer account and paying money out for the bills on the vendor account, they wanted the ability to net or contra the transactions against each other so that no money had to be transferred between the different entities that were really the same entity. Um, we built this product with some automation in the back end to make it super simple and easy to perform the netting, um, to apply the payments to the transactions, and to create a summary document that shows in a succinct manner what has been done that you can send to the customer so that they know exactly where they are positioned. This is not standard out NetSuite. You can't do this stuff by NetSuite, which is how this product came about. Um, and I'm going to take you through that today to show you exactly what capabilities we have. All right. So I'm going to just perform some netting. So netting can be done in two ways. You can do it via the button on the customer vendor link, or you can do it via the netting controller on the netting dashboard. Click the link. It's going to show all the open transactions for this customer vendor link. So we have one bill and two invoices. We can choose whether to include or exclude. And you'll see the, the dollars up the top here. It will take the lowest amount in AR or AP to be netted and show you what's about to be netted. I'm going to select everything. And we simply call it click Submit. Now, when I look at my demo netting customer, you'll see that netting is in process. So this is now completed. So our netting job balance is zero, our invoice balance is zero, and our open bill balance is 370. So these five fields here are non-stored values. They pull from all of the transactions that are linked underneath. And these ones down the bottom are hard-coded. They run once a day on a workflow, on a schedule, or we can also update them manually by clicking this button. So now that we've run netting, I can update the balances. Our AR balance is zero, invoices minus any open credit memos, and our AP balance is $370, which is 370 in the bills, and we have zero in the bill credits. Netting balance shows what can be netted. So because we just performed netting on everything that was available, we have nothing available to net. And then the balance after netting obviously shows we owe $370 in bills. So let's have a look at the journal that was created through the netting. So on our netting journal, you can see that we have our net demo netting customer vendor link. You can see the three transactions. So for the demo customer, the account that has been applied to, and the transaction. And that shows the currency that that transaction's in and the new status, which is now paid in full. So when I look at that transaction, I can see paid in full. And when I look at the related record under payments, that's journal that we were just looking at has been applied to this invoice to pay it out. We also have a reference to the journal here. Same with this invoice. And this bill has an open status because the, the entire bill has not been netted. I'll have a look at that. So the other invoice is also paid in full. And we can see under payments, the 1980 on that journal. On our bill, we can see a payment of 3,630. So when we go to make our final payment, there's only amount due of 370. All right, so the summary document that I spoke about earlier has now been generated. That all occurs as part of the netting transaction process. We'll review that here. The netting transaction, the journal number, the date that it occurred on, the customer vendor link that's been applied to, the customer vendor name, transaction date, transaction name and document number, currency, amount netted, and amount remaining on that transaction. So we can see here, the total open bills is $370. This can be sent to the customer to show you in a succinct manner what has been netted. What if we make a mistake? How do we undo the netting transaction? It's quite a simple process. All we need to do, edit our journal or get an admin to edit our journal if we don't have access to it, and delete it. Now that's deleted, we will see that these transactions, when we refresh the page, will go from paid in full to being open again. And you can see here in these non-stored fields that our balances are back. All transactions, invoice, invoice and bill, they're all open again, back to where we were. 
and then we just we can just delete our netting transaction as well because it's gone it's gone from our CVL, so we can't send that out accidentally. So that's how we do netting. Uh, we have a dashboard to show to make things easy. So we have some reminders: what's been netted today, what's been netted this week, this month, all netting transactions. Um, weekly netting trend, how much are we doing per week netting between vendors and customers, and then our controller. So we can actually filter this and drive our netting directly from here. So we can perform netting on any of our CVLs that have a balance directly from our dashboard. And then all netted transactions just shows all of the transactions that have had a netted, netting journal applied to them. You can even see by subsidiary who's netting the most. Um, the first piece you need to know is that we have a custom segment, also a custom record called customer vendor link. So this customer vendor link is the linking transaction that pulls together the vendor and the customer. It's a pretty simple form when you set up a new one. All you're asked is to name it. A lot of customers will use in Australia ABN or tax number um, hyphen by the name of the company. So it's easy to recognize the exact uh, business that you are performing the net in between. You then need to choose a subsidiary if you use One World and have subsidiary set up. And that will bring in the primary currency for the subsidiary. So netting can only occur within the one subsidiary and only for transactions that live within that subsidiary. We also have a process if you want to net multi-currency within the one subsidiary, but there is a manual process, which I'm not going to go into today, but there's another video if you need that to show you how to perform multi-currency. So once you create your customer vendor link, you save, I'm not going to save it, but you save. And then we have a customer vendor link. This is an example that's already been set up, which has customers attached to it. So to set the customer vendor link on the customer, we just need to update two fields on the customer. So under Lemon Martini, so you can see the banner that this, net, this customer has netting. Under Lemon Martini Netting Plus, we have the two fields here. Once they're set, once they're set, the process will run in the background to update any transactions that have that are open for this customer to tag them as well with the customer vendor link, which will then pull them through to see them on our customer vendor link. So on the sub tabs on this link, we can see our customers and vendors that are linked. You can see our summaries if we have any. I'll get to that once we actually do some netting. And then we have a few tabs to split out the transactions. So all transactions just shows every transaction that's attached to this customer or vendor no matter the status. Open transactions is filtered down to only transactions that are open. Netted transactions shows transactions that have had a netting uh, journal applied to them. And unapproved is obviously transactions that, transactions that still need to be approved before they will be netted. You can't approve, you can't net unapproved transactions. And that's the Lemon Martini Netting Plus product. Reach out if you have any questions or want a more in-depth demo. Thanks for watching.